In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to graph an inequality. Here's a question for you. How do you know when to use a closed circle or an open circle when graphing inequalities? In this video, you're going to learn when to use an open circle. You would use it when the inequality symbol is either a greater than symbol or a less than symbol, which means that the number is not part of the solution set. So consider this inequality y is less than 5. Remember that inequalities can always be expressed in two ways. The other way to express it is y is 5 is greater than y. So when you graph this inequality, you're going to use an open circle on the 5 on a number line. Notice an open circle is basically just drawing a circle. It's not, you don't color it in. In order to determine the shading, you have to ask yourself which side, is it the 4 or the 6, that is less than 5. Hopefully you should know that all the numbers to the left of the 5, such as 4, such as 2.5, such as negative 1 fourth, all of those numbers occur on the left-hand side of the number line when you compare it to 5, and therefore this region is shaded. Let's look at the other example here. Negative 3 is less than w. Another way to express this inequality is to say w is greater than negative 3. So when you graph this, you're going to use an open circle on negative 3 because of the inequality symbol. And you have to ask yourself, which side? Is it the negative 4 or the negative 2? Which side? is greater than negative 3. You should know that all the numbers to the right of negative 3 on a number line are greater than negative 3, and therefore the right side right here is shaded. 